Hello, Legacy Builders. This is Rita Stewart, and I'm the founder of ilegacybuilder.com. I just wanted to hop on this beautiful Friday afternoon to share a tip or two with you. Actually, I have five specific things I want to share with you um, in reference to how you can build your team, right? How you can build trust, right, with your team. I'm actually sitting in my car right now because I've been out all day with my grandmother of 95 years old and I just pulled up in my driveway and I thought, you know, before I go in and get started with some things I probably want to get done at home, I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit to my tribe because I had these five things on my heart this morning but I needed to get out early to get her to her appointments. So here I am, here I am chatting with you now. So look, one of the things that's near and dear to my heart as I work with other individuals who are also looking to um, build their business, whether it be network marketing, whether it be direct sales, whether it be their own personal business, whatever the case may be, brick and mortar, whatever. Generally, there's a team involved somewhere. I've experienced that myself as a supervisor, as a manager, and also as a team builder for certain um, businesses that I have or had been, I am or have had been a part of. I think you know what I'm trying to say. At any rate, um, so the thing that's that, that I found to be near and dear is to make sure that you seek to build death in your team. Death, build deeply, not necessarily wide and all the way across. And when I say build death, death in relationships, but also death as it relates to um, ensuring that there's a solid foundation with the relationship of your teams and ensuring that the people who are on your team are positioned to win as well. That's what you want to make sure you do. Again, my name is Rita Stewart with ilegacybuilder.com and I love to come alongside individuals and entities to support you with leveraging the internet to grow your business or your cause, whatever that may be. So, okay, in the um, description here of this particular live, I share with you uh, uh, a link to a um, article that goes into more detail about these five things that I'm about to share with you. So you definitely want to read that so that you can glean from that, share it with your teams, apply it for yourself, and um, take it from there, right? We want growth, we want death, we want our teams to grow, we want to be successful in business. So the first thing you wanna do, number one are the five things. You want to make sure you're adding value to your team every single day. Value point blank, whether that be to your team or whether that be to your client base. You want to make sure you're adding value. Okay, the second thing, incentives and reward. You want to acknowledge you want to acknowledge that your team is doing an excellent job. You want to acknowledge that you're that you're pleased with the progress that they are making and that you're proud of the work that they've done and what they are accomplished accomplishing. You know, it's baby steps for all of us when we get started. So we need to take the time to acknowledge individuals when they are doing a great job. It 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 just goes a long way when an individual knows that they are acknowledged and they are respected. Number three, you want to ensure that you incentivize and give rewards. It could be very simple, very simple, but if there's an opportunity for you to give an incentive or give a reward to your teams or to your main clients or customers, do that, do that. That shows that you care. Number four, um, and I think I might have these a little bit off, but that's okay, number four. Oh my gosh, I think this is number three actually. Number three, guys, number three, open and honest and sincere communication. And I mentioned this the other day in a live that I did. Open and honest communi mu communication. Keep the lines of communication open. Be real, be honest be open, be sincere, talk about it, okay? Make room, make a place and space for that so that the, your team can be able to chat with you and talk to you and make sure that you have the lines of communications open at all time, okay? Um, number four, 
don't take them for granted. Don't take them for granted. If you have team members who are consistent with what they're doing, who show up day in and day out, who are doing the very best that you know that they can or they, they feel that they can, don't take them for granted. That is so important. Make sure that they know that they are appreciated and acknowledged, like I said. Don't take the work that they do for granted, even the little things that they like to do for the team. Accept what they have to offer, right? Accept what they have to offer. Don't take them for granted. And then the last thing that I feel that is very important is you want to make sure that you foster um, a community of trust with your team. You want to make sure that your team feels that there is definitely a trust factor, a safe space for them to have the conversations, to fail, to succeed, whatever it is they need to do, you want to make sure that there's a trust factor there. So those are the five things. Now, when you go ahead and read this article in detail, um, one of my mentors, Fernie, is going to give you insight as to how to actually, how you can actually manage these uh, effectively. Fernie, um, when he wrote this article, he was thinking about it from a network marketing perspective. It could be from direct sales. It could be from individuals, like I said, who are brick and mortar, independent, whatever the case may be. Many of us manage teams. So I just wanted to hop on, share that with you this beautiful Friday afternoon. Have a great, great, great weekend. If you have any questions, reach out to me. You can PM me, whatever the case may be. Be sure to check out my blog at ilegacybuilder.com. I appreciate you. And until the next time, blessings.